probably one of the first questions I get when I say I'm vegan is, oh, okay, but you still have eggs though, right? No. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Chelsea, and just to clarify, I'm not allergic to eggs. I just actually choose not to eat eggs. I'm a vegan mom, and I've done all my research, and I know they're just unhealthy. They're high in cholesterol. Some people think they need eggs for protein, but obviously there's protein in like tons of other things, so you don't have to have an egg to get your protein. They're the result, they're the product, the end result of a chicken's period. Kind of strange, I never thought about it before, but it's true. If you're worried about baking without eggs, there are so many ways to bake without eggs, and that's what I want to just show you today is what I use instead of eggs. Probably what I use the most as a substitute for eggs is flax mill. So this is just flax seeds that are ground up into a softer texture, and this is relatively cheap. You're going to get lots of nutrients out of this, and it has protein in it, so keep calm. Don't worry, you will get your protein. This is a flax egg. <laughs> egg. <laughs> it's one tablespoon of flax milk to three tablespoons of warm water, and then you just let it sit for a few minutes, like five minutes, and it just kind of gets like goopy, like an egg. That is useful, I feel like, in cookies, or like I put it in my pancake batter. Sometimes I just throw it in a smoothie just for added nutrients, really. Like I said, it's really good for you. There's also a serving of omega-3 fats in flax. So, there you go. Okay, another substitute that a lot of people like to use, and I use sometimes too, is chia seeds. There's been a lot of hype on chia seeds lately, and they are healthy. I mean, they also have omega-3 fats in them. You don't need eggs or fish to get your omega-3s. I promise. <laughs> and there's also protein in these as well. Oh, I don't need the eggs to get the protein. Um, these also have a nice binding effect. Have some of you guys seen the chia pudding? It's been really popular lately where you mix chia seeds with almond milk and then you add like sweetener and stuff. If you haven't, you should look up some recipes. It's really good. Got a chia egg. <laughs> Same thing, one tablespoon of chia seeds to three tablespoons of water. And this is like, look at that, I mean, it's like super, it's been sitting just for like five minutes. And it's really thick, and it's really gelatinous. And or just throw it in for added health nutrition, why not? If you want to thicken anything up, like a smoothie. Sometimes I use this. It's just a powder you can buy at the Whole Foods. It's egg replacer, or you can buy it online. Um, it's called Energy. It's gluten-free, in case some of you guys are wondering about that. And it really just has, like, starches in it. It has potato starch in it, tapioca flour, calcium carbonate, uh, cream of tartar. So, there you go. This, I have found, is more useful for, like, um, like cakes and um, stuff I want a little more fluffy. There's also one other egg substitute that I don't have. I've actually never bought it. But you can buy the vegan egg at the Whole Foods store. And it comes in like a little carton. And it's got like a powder, and I guess you mix it with water. And so if you're really into your scrambled eggs and egg sandwiches and you don't have a replacement for that, that would be your best bet. It tastes the closest to a real egg because it has um, I just forget this, black salt in it, which kind of gives it like a sulfur, subtle sulfur kind of taste. As a side note, the substitutes I showed you today, you can't just throw them into any recipe and expect them to work. You kind of have to use your own judgment, like if it's old recipes, you know. Like I've tried old cookie recipes with, some, with the flax egg and it worked. Other recipes I've tried didn't work. So you have to just have some trial and error but usually if you just look up vegan recipes, it will have the ve it will have the substitute in the recipe, so obviously you'll know what to use and how much to use and things like that. 
just thought I would clarify because obviously you're not going to want to make a chia a chia seed egg and try and you know put it on a pan and scramble it or whatever <laughs> I figure you guys would have more common sense than that but there you go can you really like totally recreate a hen's period with plants probably not but it's cool that we live in a world where we've found other ways to still substitute it and still make things pretty close to what we had before. Um, some other pros to not using eggs. You don't have to worry about getting salmonella poisoning. You don't have to worry about getting sick or like cross-contaminating the raw eggs with anything. I don't have to worry about that any anymore, which is really nice. Um, the, the flax mill and the chia seeds, they have a long shelf life, especially if I put them in the fridge, they last for months. So I don't have to worry about them going bad. And obviously if you have like the powder replacer, that will, that has a long shelf life too, like months. So anyway, I think I've covered all things eggs. Okay, well, I hope some of you guys are more motivated now to have an egg-free life. Hopefully you'll try some of these. Love you guys. Peace out.